Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, again, thank you to Elizabeth for making this video possible. My light broke, so sorry about this weird lighting. Rest in power to Matthew Davis as we're going over the follow-up to the mighty enchantment of the ring by secret stairways to the latest reissue of turning point on dungeons deep records oh my god look at this gorgeous gatefold 180 gram clear vinyl just absolutely gorgeous dungeon synth ambient awesomeness really really one of those releases where when you compare it with enchantment of the ring i feel like they kind of belong together like I would listen to this either before or after this and have yourself a nice like dungeon synth session sonically and also emotionally it just depends on really where you are in your mind heart but also with this type of music it sounds kind of nerdy, but it's awesome in my opinion, but I'm also kind of a dork, but if you're a fan of like tabletop playing, like role playing games and whatnot, and you're looking for a good soundtrack for your next like Dungeons and Dragons campaign, I mean, unless you're having it at your house or something, you know, don't go out of your way and grab the vinyl version, although I think this might be the only version at the moment that is currently available. I do not know if Secret Stairways have a CD release of Turning Point. I also don't know if they have a current CD release of Enchantment of the Ring. This is a reissue of the original master tape watch my video on that and my video on the vinyl reissue which was also done by dungeons deep records who did a fantastic job and once again they did a fantastic job and you have to give heavy heavy hails to matthew davis and rest in power and i didn't really know that uh the harp on here was played by Arissa Fields. And, um, I just, I, I don't know. The whole situation surrounding Matthew and his, like, I'm not really sure how he passed away and stuff. And it's one of those things, you know, like, it's not my business. I've never looked into it. All I know is I absolutely love Secret Stairways. Turning Point is an amazing follow-up to Enchantment of the Ring. It's just a beautiful 12-track slab of dungeon synth with beautiful ambience. Like, legit beautiful ambience. And it's really a bummer that this artist passed away. Like, and as always, you get the hardware rundown. Sequencing Roland MC 50 MK2 sounds Korg N1 and X5DR. Alice's Nano Piano and Nano Bass 
false dr5 a yamaha tg33 akai s2000 digital sampler on track six and a hammered dokam dokamer on track nine i'm not sure what that is but again just gorgeous artwork and i'm pretty sure this is a public domain art piece ah it is by uh gustav door i i knew it was kind of familiar but um he gives a big thank you to tangerine dream and uh kidoro for instrumental motivation that's awesome. I really, you know, this is something special. Tracks 1 to 10 recorded August 13th to September 6th, 1999. And I guess some of this other stuff, um, Something New Arisen recorded 2006 and Something Else New Horizon recorded 2008. Vocal samples in track six by M. Davis and Robin Tinker. So I'm not really sure. I mean, it says right here, tracks one to 10 recorded August 13th to September 6th, 1999. So, I don't know. That's kind of strange. Oh, I get it. I'm an idiot. I didn't realize there was two bonus tracks. Yeah, I'm not very intelligent these days. Not as smart as I used to be before my injury. But, um, you know, transcendent. Will O' The Wisp, Halls of Avalon, Argia, Into the Astral Wind, Voices, Gwenafar, Unicorn Carousel, A Hidden Place, The Return of Lacina, Arisen, and Horizon. Makeup, Turning Point by Secret Stairways. Just, it's gorgeous. It really is. It's a, like, I, I really wish I could give you my true feelings on this subgenre, like, with proper English. Because I don't really know how to express how this really makes me feel. Because it, it gives me this, like, vibe that I can't get anywhere else like there's certain bands I listen to that it hits me it's like whoa like this is something special and every Secret Stairways track I just feel has this like kind of drawing power to it almost like Hey man, like, I wrote this for you, and I know that's total bullshit, like, I was definitely not into Dungeon Synth in 1999, but I was in the video game soundtracks. Like, the first import I ever got was Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. I got a 3 CD import from Japan and I wish I still had that soundtrack like I would dub that on cassette and oh my goodness one of my favorite soundtracks also when it comes to role-playing games like I mean some people will say Final Fantasy 7 is overrated but Final Fantasy 6 slash 3 come on that's one of the best video games ever. It's up there with Super Metroid, Symphony of the Night, Castlevania. 
that's one of my favorite games ever. The first Metroidvania game. And I'm getting off subject here because secret stairways do not go the chiptune Nintendo-y sounding route. They take this, you know, very, like, legit, like, you would be going into a castle in the middle, medieval, mid-ages. Like, it's fucking awesome. Especially if you're a fan of, like, fantasy and, you know, the Song of Ice and Fire series or the work of J.R.R. Tolkien, like, especially Tolkien. Tolkien is really, I mean, come on, Enchantment of the Ring. Like, I feel like Tolkien and Dungeon Synth go hand in hand. But I really also like the just kind of less minimal side of Secret Stairways. And yes, I know I'm all when the guying out. But on like uh, Enchantment of the Ring, it's a like it still has those like classical elements, but it's more, you know, about the vibe where this it's all about the songwriting along with the atmosphere and the vibe. But I feel like the songwriting is just so powerful on this release that I almost don't want to call it a dungeon synth release. I would just like to kind of throw this under experimental music, but you know, I, I know at the end of the day what it is, and I'm going to throw that Dungeon Synth tag onto Secret Stairway's turning point. But for me, on a personal level, like I said, I can't make up my mind here, which I like more. Enchantment of the Ring, Turning Point, they're both amazing, but... You know, it all depends on your mood, and with, like, Halloween coming, I know some of you probably are looking for some spooky tunes. I suggest, you know, checking out some of the releases I've covered, like, uh, the, that Blood Lord record is so good. Especially, like, if you're having, like, kids over for, like, if you do, like, a haunted house for Halloween... That's a great release to just throw on, or like Fiendish Imp. That, like, I mean, that's written about Halloween, so play that shit on Halloween. But Secret Stairways, Turning Point. This could be a turning point in your music life. Because, trust me, this is one of those records where when i first heard it i instantly was just like like wow like that was beautiful and at the same time you know was just something that i just it just clicked like wow that was awesome and i actually heard turning point before Enchantment of the Ring and before the demo. So this was my introduction to Secret Stairways. So this, again, it means a lot to me and I'm grateful to have a copy. Like, heavy hails to fucking Liz. Thank you, because that's one that I'm pretty sure it's sold out. It, or it might be sold out already. If not, they have two color variants and Again, like I said, to my knowledge, it's only available on vinyl at the moment through Dungeons Deep. But, um, you know, it also is copyrighted by Matthew P. Davis, I think, through, um, what's, what's the name? Hold on, I apologize. Uh, I think it's Cold Sister? Oh, Gray Sister, um, Cold Dungeon Offerings. That's who did 
the um, Enchantment of the Ring Master Tape reissue. Recently, this is 2022. It's in my... I had to babysit Hudson yesterday, so I threw this on for him. He, he, he likes more... I mean, he's just a little kid, but, like, he'll, like, start dancing when I, like, when I put Selma Free Institute on yesterday, and he was, like, dancing, enjoying himself. And Cole loves synthesizer-driven music, but he hasn't heard Turning Point yet by Secret Stairways. But Heavy Hails to Liz, Dungeons Deep Records for reissuing this bad boy. I'm hoping that um, I all I keep forgetting this um label's name, and I apologize. I'm hoping that uh, Gray Sister and Cold Dungeon Offerings do one of these cassette releases for Turning Point. Like I don't know if they have the original master, like they did for this reissue. Because this comes straight off this bad boy. Like the actual like master disc. So it's on the money when it comes to the sound. Like I fucking love it. So I would really. Like I said this sounds great on vinyl. It's amazingly clear. Crispy. But I just love that tape hiss. When it comes to dungeon synth. So I just personally, I'm hoping this gets a cassette reissue, but if not, it's no biggie because I fucking love it, and it's one of those releases where every time you listen to it, you hear something new, and that's another thing. It has such a heavy playback, like, rotation to it. It's just a lot of dungeon synths like that, although... Some of it can be very repetitive. There's sometimes where it's just like, oh, like, did you hear that part? Like, that was so cool. And yeah, I'm a nerd. And really, heavy hails to Piss Rot and their dungeon synth project, Misty Keep. Well, I'm pretty sure it's one individual from Piss Rot Project, but. Misty Keep Solitude. I can't wait to go over this with you folks because it's fucking awesome. And I got, again, some requests for, hey, cover some more Dungeon Synth. Do some more Coffee Time videos. Hey, here's the deal. I'm not doing any more Coffee Time videos unless those numbers are at least over 200. But... That's just because that shit costs money and etc. etc. But Secret Stairways. Rest in power, Matthew Davis. Definitely check out Turning Point. Even if you're not a big fan of Dungeon Synth, I feel like there's something almost almost for everyone on here. Unless you're one of those people that, you know. You just worship, like, a band like Immortal Suffering, and that's all you listen to is, like, 90s brutal death metal, then chances are you're going to hate this. So, I'll just throw that out there. But, otherwise, yeah, this is open for almost everyone to enjoy. And I feel like Enchantment of the Ring is the same way. Like, especially if you're a fan of black metal. There's just a vibe to it that just kind of reminds me. And I don't know if it's because of some of the images, especially if you have the vinyl version, which I just didn't pull out for some reason. You know, a lot of the aesthetic is, like, black metal-y slash industrial. But, like, it's really just awesome. And... Just killer stuff from the late 90s, dungeon synth-wise. And definitely get into Secret Stairways, check out Turning Point, and check out Enchantment of the Ring. Both have been reissued recently, but I think...
think they both might be sold out. Links will be in the video description as always. Thank you again, Elizabeth, and thank you for watching. If you made it 20 minutes into this video, you're a maniac, and I love you. So, thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule again. Heavy, heavy hails. Yeah.